Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Guide, I'm presenting Astal, and this is on the Sega Saturn, and this is care of Sega, and this is the Saturn dashboard, as we fly through space with our cubes visible to all and sundry. This is the Sega logo, beautiful, still miss the old Mega Drive animated logos. This is the Sega Saturn going through RGB into a capture device, so... This is what you get. This is some wacky, grainy FMV by the looks of it. Um, some sort of animated intro. Very sparkly. Uh, isn't that nice? This is a 1995 game, which means it came out at launch, or was very close to the launch of the Sega Saturn. In uh, 94, I believe, the Saturn came out. And um, it's a 2D platform game. Um, we've gone into uh, the menu mode here because um, there's nothing more exciting in the game than looking at the menu. Uh, we have a little character with a wacky haircut who runs from left to right and he can jump and pull up stuff on the ground, pick things up, throw it around. He looks kind of cool. He can whistle. Um, you get a bird that comes and uh, sits on your shoulder. I haven't played much of this game. Again, this is a game I've only bought recently. I never played this back in the day, so this is all kind of new to me. So I've had a couple of goes on it. Um, all I can work out how to do is uh, do the old run, pick the odd bit, bits and bobs up, uh, which you then lob and um, whistle for the bird once you release the bird and um, you can send the bird to go and fetch things for you by pressing one of the buttons um, and that's all I've managed to work out thus far what you can see from the video I don't know what I'm doing here I think I'm waiting for something to happen but nothing happened um, so I'm just going to kill all the bad guys um, is the graphics have a kind of watercolour look to them. I don't know if it's sort of scanned watercolour artwork or whether it's all kind of painted um, say in Photoshop and then um, just appears in the game. It's got actually, now I think about it, it looks stylistically, the way things are drawn, a bit like the Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder game. A little bit sort of prettier but um, similar sort of style really. Um, or even, um, what was the game on the sound? The Golden Axe, the Jewel. It's got a similar sort of, um, style. so maybe there was a, maybe it's done by the same team, maybe it's done by that team. That's quite an effective attack, that, pulling up the old plant and lobbing it. Seemed to crush a lot of enemies in one go. Got plenty of layers of parallax there. You've got, um, nicely animated enemies that would kind of come out of the ground. You've got some rotation, you've got some scaling. Some nice shadowy effects. So we have got um, health effects. Yeah, it's not a bad looking game this. I wouldn't say thus far it's terribly exciting or indeed challenging, but it is a game. Of that you cannot deny. Uh, the music's nice, the sound effects are alright. Can't argue with that. It's a 2D platform game with uh, lots of single-eyed bats. Got some colour cycling here, some uh, alpha. The, uh, I, don't, I quite like the character design. I don't mind it so much. Um, it reminds me a little bit of a Sonic Team kind of a game. Uh, yeah, I reckon uh, all sorts of people from Sega are involved in this, and uh, from different teams. That character design does it does smack a bit of something like Rise Star or something. Don't know. Don't know. Can't confirm or deny that. Quite like that um, effect there, where it goes dark and his eye kind of lights up. Uh, to my eye, um, this is much better looking than, say, uh, Clockwork Night on the sand. It's just. Oh, I've done something there with the. Um, killed a lot of bats with the bird. Don't know how I did that. Don't know how I did that. This is the Japanese version, by the way. So it's Japanese. Um, I'm sure I could look for the instruction manual and find out what the controls are. 
and um, I'm sure it illustrates them fairly simply. Um, but I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to play the game. It's better off just playing the game, isn't it? It's just more fun than reading. I don't, I don't buy games to read, I buy them to smash and to jump. Yeah, it's a much uh, nicer looking game than Cabot Knight, that's for sure. Um, I remember back in the day this got very middling reviews, and I think it's because of the sedate pace of the game. I wouldn't say I was on the edge of my seat here. But it is, it is a good looking game. It wasn't gonna, ever going to sell um, many Saturn systems on the back of this. But uh, not every game can be a killer app, can it? Eh? It can just be a fun kind of game. This is alright so far. Yeah, quite like it. Uh, what does it do over, say, 16-bit games? Nothing. And I think that's probably why it got slagged. you got some nice scaling stuff going on there, though. You wouldn't get that on a Mega Drive or a SNES. Unless you had some sort of special chips. Some sort of special silicon. And obviously the colour depth is much, much higher than you get on a Mega Drive game. Or SNES game, I suppose. 32,000 colours, I guess. That tidy little um, status bar at the bottom there. It's a bit of a... Sort of... Sort of a munge. It, it reminds me a little bit of Three Wonders. Uh, just stylistically, the bit of the bomb and um, some of the enemy designs uh, crossed with something that Sonic Team, that was quite cool Sonic, Sonic Team will make um, ooh, is that a pre-rendered like pre eyeball? ok that effect there, where it moves into 3D I like that, I like that a lot and for being pre-rendered 3D, that bat thing doesn't look too bad. Am I giving this game an easy time? Um, I'm not trying to. I just... Uh, it's just not the slag off, necessarily. It's just kind of... It's just kind of nice, isn't it? Not very challenging. Uh, the game on Japanese import costs 30 English pounds. Or did, at least when I bought it. And uh, that's for a pretty minty copy. Which, I guess it's quite expensive. What? I mean, what else are you going to do with cash? Spend it on fags. Buy yourself a can of special brew. Um, you could do that. I mean, it's fine. Do whatever you want. Uh, 30 quid is quite, a, I suppose, a bit of cash. Uh, I bet the PAL version is uh, much, much more expensive. And has borders a little worse. obviously some sort of crazy story there. Did he turn into a stick of hair? Hmm. We have... Is it just a still? Or is it an animated cartoon? It's just a still. It's scrolling. But it is semi-transparent. Eat that, PlayStation owners. Um, you don't have to eat that. Those crystals are pretty bad, though, aren't they? On the edges of it. Some beautiful transparency offset with uh, awful, awful pre-rendered crystals. Uh, skip that. Let's get past that. Japanese once more. Yeah, this game's alright. This game's alright so far. Not super exciting, but alright. Hmm, colour cycling. Very, very futuristic. Yeah, it's lush, isn't it? It's got a bit of depth to it. Um, the colour depth isn't probably as good as it could be. It looks a bit sort of... Um, I don't know how you describe it really. Just It's not quite jpeg -y, but it's, it's got something going on with the... Uh, like the gradients in it are kind of... There's a, a lot of dither patterns, there's not so much gradients. Uh, but it is... It's acceptable. The water's quite nice there, I do like that. I'm um, not sure what these things are supposed to be, like eyes with a foot. Uh, you can bounce on the enemies too, Ooh, but you can't jump in the water. Um, Astal. Oh. 
and sound effect play in comparison to the rest of the tunes. Oh dear. Grab and throw, grab and throw. Whoa, easy fella. Angry for some reason. Maybe because I'm beating up all of his family. Ooh, creepy. Creepy touchy fella. Hmm. I should really get the bird to go and fetch my um, aubergine for me, but um, I didn't bother. There's a lot of bouncing on enemies in this round. Yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what the rest of this game has in store. Um, I wonder if they... if every single level is different. If it is, uh, they obviously spent a lot of money on this. Um, compared to crap like uh, Grand Chaser and uh, nonsense like Clockwork Knight, um, I'd rather play and look at this as a, you know, launch Saturn game or an old Saturn game. It's uh, pretty cool, but expensive. So, takes your picks. All I'm doing is I'm showing you the stuff. What's going on here? Oh, he's fallen into a... He's fallen into an abyss. An abyss full of stars. Woo! Oh, he's gone back to the title screen. There you go. That's Astal. Catch you later.